It's always fun with technology. So we're, we're filming on two different platforms, on Facebook and on Live, and also we're going to be posting this to YouTube later on. So if you get into this later, you can always catch it later. So we're still on our same sadhana of Stadia. Oh, no, we're on Stadia. Oh, okay, we're on Stadia. Yeah, we're Sunday. on Stadia. Okay. What day is it? <laughs> I know, it's like, you know, every day is the same. We're always in the eternal now. So Estella, which is non-stealing, that's what we're going to bring into our practice. Of course, don't take anything that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> uh, but on a more serious note, uh, it's a great sadhana for this week because Estella is really that you can steal the joy from others um, by taking something that doesn't belong to you. For example, someone's health. Um, so it's this whole quarantine thing that we're doing is in honor of each other and taking good care of ourselves so that we can take care of others. Um, but don't, you know, sit at home and eat potato chips. What are you looking at me? <laughs> so this is a time, you know, we're, we're home. We have time to do things that perhaps we don't usually have time to do. Maybe you can write a book, you can start an art project, you can clean out the closet, you can do some more meditation, and yes, of course, some more yoga. We have lots of classes online for you now. We have a new platform starting also through my body soon, right? Soon, yeah. So we have lots of different platforms for you guys to enjoy, and we're very excited about it. You know, you never know what life is going to give you. This is the last thing I would have ever expected to happen, and um, we're so grateful for the love and the support that we have gotten from you all, and uh, we appreciate it more than you know. Um, hopefully we get through this quickly and we get back to normal and meanwhile we're going to have fun with you here on the mat. We're going to do a 45 minute kind of powerful intermediate to a little bit more advanced flow today of some heart openers and some arm balances. Um, I feel like heart openers is always a good thing to do, especially when things are a little rocky, right? Yes. Yeah? Yes, sir. You ready for heart openers? I'm always ready. I know you're ready for hands, hand balances, arm balances, but... I'm ready for everything. Bring it on. So we'll start by chanting Om, the way we always start here at Gaia Flow. This is still your home, and love is still why, and we're still here for you. Bring your hands directly to your heart. If you're comfortable chanting Om, you get to join me. Otherwise, you get just to enjoy the sound of our voice chanting Om with you. Inhale. Waking up the wrist and change sides, opposite side. Oh my gosh, allergies, right? Mm -hmm. Allergy season. So 
Oh, we need coronavirus and that'll be. <laughs> Alright, hip circles again for three, two, and one. Hollow out your belly, curl up your toes, and let's push this back for downward facing dog. For downward facing dog, go way in. Inhale, tuck the knees down. Exhale, press all the way back, one of those shoulders a little bit deeper. Inhale, tuck the knees down, use your core here, press back. Don't forget to breathe. And then tuck down. Exhale, press back. Maybe forehead to the ground, pop the head to the ground. Back, that's three, you got two more. I love to warm up this way because my shoulders are so tight. Is that your shoulders tight? A little bit. And then we hold them up. Ooh, feels good. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Nice and easy, we're just going to warm up the body, so let's bend the knees, walk, float, or handstand to the top of your mat, we're just waking up, so nice little tiptoe to the front, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, deep forward fold, take the hands around, we'll do some chair pulses here just to wake up the body, so inhale, sit low, smile, <laughs> exhale, deep forward fold, back, let's do that again, inhale, sit low, Nice, bicep by the ears. Oh, that was good. Exhale, deep forward fold. One more. Inhale, sit low. All right. Bum to the ground, feet to the sky. Meet me here. We're coming down slow for five, four, three, two. Back up on five. Now you can always catch behind your knees here. And bring it down. Five, four, three, two. Back up on five. And here we go. Five, four, three, two. We just have two more of these. Back up on five. Come down slow. Five, four, three, two. Back up. Last one. This time when we come down, we're going to drop our feet down. One, two, three. Feet coming on four. Hands go back on five. Hips come up on one. Remember, we're doing that for this space. So warm up. Three, it's hard to talk. Four, and five. Bring it back down. Catch your right knee, pull it in. And press your left hip up. We hold for five. Four, three, two, one. So warm up. Stay on this side. Catch your foot. Press the knee down to the earth, and then press the hip up. Hold for five, let's do it both well. legs for four. Bend the knee, press it to the earth. Three, two, one. Cross it over, we're just warming up. Nice and easy, bringing it through. Take a nice little hamstring release here for three, two, one. Keep your foot as it is, take your hands up, press up. We hold for five, warming up. Four, Three, two, and one. Cross it all the way over. Hook the feet. Take the hands either behind the head or into your eagle arms. And then exhale, bring it up. One, tap down. Warming up the core. Two, tap down. Three, tap down. Four, tap down. Five. Let's hold it here, little pulses. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, and five. Your knees down. And round up, hug your knees back in. Again, you can catch your hand if you want, otherwise, we're just going to circle back up. And here we go. Bring it down slow. One, two, three, four. Back down on five and up. Here we go again. One, two, three, four, five. Back up. Woohoo! You feel like this? Yes. I know, me too. One, two, three, four, five. Back up. Back up. One more. We're going to drop this one down. One, two, three, four, pull it in, hands back, hips up, 
Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down. Hug your left knee in. Give it a hug. We hold for five, four. Get ready to touch your hips up. Three, two, one. Press up. Hold for five, four. You can always stay through this. Three, two, one. Next level. Catch your foot. Drive the knee down. Hold for five. Get ready to press the hips up. Two, three, four, five. Press up and press down at the same time. Hip up, knee down. One, two, three, four, and five. Cross it over. Hamstring the knees, pull it in. We're just warming up. Woohoo! <laughs> three, four, and five. Drop it down. Hook it around. Maybe hook your, hook your feet. Otherwise, hit the hands here. Or you can take the eagle arms to turn the left arms underneath the right. And we come up to the outside of the left side. Up for five. Up and down for five. One. Count down. Two. Count down. Three. Count down. Four. Down. Five. Down. Bring it up and pull. We've got 20 here. Here we go. Pulses. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, wake me up, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, stay with me, six, you can do this, four, three, two, and one, unravel, woohoo, come up around the knees, cross your ankles, come all the way through, and step this back, all right, let's get you a little bit. Drop to the knees, drop to the forearms, come forward. Drop to the knees, drop to the forearms, come forward. Now for some of you, when you push back, you come all the way here, and then you drop to the knees, drop to the forearms, and come forward. Now that's one option, we'll do that again. Press back, drop to the knees, drop to the forearms, come forward. Yeah. You can also take this, Come forward, press back down dog. Drop to the knees or stay here in your practice. Come forward, drop to the knees, press back. So you just do it into a pulsing plank, dropping to the elbows, all right? So up into your plank, all the way back, drop down, elbows to the ground. Forward of the fingers for me, we'll warm it up. Forward of the fingers, yes. And back, and down, one more time. Forward, and back, and down. All right, right here where you are, take your right leg and bring it up. And then all we're gonna do is take that leg, bring it up. One, tap it down. Two, you can always stay with this. Next level, from your downward facing dog, find your triple dog. See if you get your forearms parallel. And take your right leg up. Same thing, otherwise you're on your knee, all right? Tap down one. Two, warming up the shoulders. Three, four, we hold at five. Now those of you who want to, you can bring this up and hold it in the sky. Whoa, warming up. Three. Good morning, Bobby. Four, woo -hoo. And five, all right, back up. Hip circles. Just a little warm up. Now remember, you take the variation that works for you and you have fun. You should feel like you're having a good time, but you're right outside of your comfort zone. For three, waking up the wrist. For two, and one. All right, here we are again. This time we'll add a little different variation in between. I want you to come down and draw a line with your nose. There's a push up, all the way through. Tap the back of your head, so get our hip flexors waking up. Where is the little ballerina when you need her? Draw a line, to nose, come all the way through, and press back. That's two. Do that again, draw a line, roll through the shoulders, warming up. Three, two more, here we go. Inhale, open up, exhale. Press back. One more time. Inhale. Roll through. Exhale. Press back. All right. Drop to the elbows. 
Here we go. Make sure you're parallel. Let's watch on. And take your left leg up. Just a straight leg up. And straight leg down. And up. And up. And up. And down. All right. You guys ready? We're going to take it either stay with this or you take it from your downward facing dog. Walk in just a little bit. Push back to the strong core. And then you can do the same thing up and tap down. Two. Down. Three. Down, four, down. Now the last one we hold for five, you can take little lifts up or you can hold it in the sky. Little lifts again are like this, just little hops. Otherwise we bring it up. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Take it back five. Ah, fun. Can you wake it up? I'm awake. <laughs> Three, four, and then we'll take our legs. Other direction. <coughs> One, <coughs> two, three, and four. All right, nice and easy. Turn your palms around with another way around. Find your nice good handstand arms. Hollow out the belly. Use your breath. Exhale, press back. Moving on. Here we go. Right leg comes up into the side. Pay attention here. Drop your left knee down. Drop your chest down. Roll through. Tap the back of your head. Press back, downward facing dog. Adam Mukha Shavasana. Left leg, inhale comes up. Exhale, right knee down. Drop the chest down. Roll through. Tap the back of your head. Press back. Down up. And we're going to continue that movement, alternating. Drop the left knee down. Dive down. Roll through. Tap. Good. One more. Left side. Left leg up. <coughs> Drop the right knee down. Dive down. Roll through. Press back. All the way back. All right, add it on here. Nice and easy. Take your right leg, bring it up. Take the knee to the nose, plant the knee right between your hands. Got it? And up. And down. Four work here. And up. Tap down. And up. Three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Drop your knee down. From here, now this is a little bit more of an intermediate to advanced pose, but I'll give you some options for it to stay. Some of you may want to follow along with Andres. So here we go. Drop your chin out in front of your fingers. Chin comes down. Back leg up, you can stay here. Maybe you just hook the back foot or maybe bring it all the way up to chin lift. And then bring it all the way down and roll through. Yeah, how was that? Good? Yes. Press back down, down. Let's do it again. Left leg is up. <clears throat> Take the knee to the nose. Plant the foot right between your hands. Working on the core here. Curl up your back toes and then slide this up. One. Back down. Two. Back down. Three. Back down. Four. It's hard to do it, man. Talk. Oh, yes. And five. <laughs> back down. All right, so again, I'm going to show you the gentle option one more time so you don't forget it. Some of you will follow this. Maybe you want to go to full scorpion on this one, this. If, if you're ready, if not, you know, whatever. Drop the chin down, bring it up, hold here. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> it's hard to talk down there. <laughs> up dog, down dog, press back. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. You take the one that you want, go right into it, and you catch the one you want. Stay down, don't take it hard. Left, right, take it up. Bring it forward, lower it down. Take it down, and find maybe you find your chin lift. I'm gonna show you some ways to get into chin lift today that might help you. Be really careful though. Take good care of your neck. If you have any neck injuries, don't even, don't even bother with this. Just stay in this gentle pose here. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to drop down and we're going to kick our leg up. You might and might not come up. So you just give it little kicks or fun. Looks like this. <laughs> Lip 
lipstick on the back. <laughs> and tap the back of your head. Woo. One more. Do that little kick up. Did you see that? You just kick it up and then once you're up, you bend your knees and see if you can tap the back of your head. Some of you will be able to. Some of, for some people, this is an easy pose, believe it or not. <laughs> Press it back. Not for me. Left leg held up. Exhale, bring it here. Plant it down. Get ready for your variation. <laughs> Obviously, you can't count while I'm doing that. <laughs> and then bring it back. Woohoo! One. Our warm up is almost over. Are you feeling warm? Yes. Three. Four. And five, press back, down dog. Right leg comes up for me. Right leg come up, open the door, hip circles. One, two, three, other direction. One, two, three. Open the door and then thread all the way through. From here, you can sit on the ground. Don't sit on the ground. I won't take you. You can sit on the ground and circle up. One, two, three, four, or we bring it up, here we go. Bring it up, one, circle around, two, three, four, back down on five. We have three of these, all right? See if you can crush your hips up. Inhale, bring you up, press, one, two, three, four, back down on five. Got one more, address? All right, let's do it. And up, one, two, hips up, three, Four, back and around on five. Right leg comes up. Nice and easy. I want you to hook around your left ankle, left wrist with your right ankle. Bring it down and drop your hips down. Maybe you can drop your hips down, maybe not. Keep your back legs turned and then bring it back up. That's one. We'll take five of those. Bring it up. Yeah? Back up. Two. Let's see if you can drop your hips down here. Back up for three. And down. Back up for four. Last one we're going to hold. Bring it and hold it. Drop all the way down. Say hello. If you can get your, sh your shin parallel to the front of the mat, do that. Walk this down. We hold for five. Four. Little active rest here. Three. Two. And one. Now we're going to have a little bit of fun. I like fun. You're still on the right side. Pull this in. Sit back into your eagle legs. Now for some of you, you might put a block behind you. You might sit here with your butt on the ground, your feet to the sky. Next level, you hook your feet completely. You take your full eagle and then you first bring your balance by sitting back into that really comfortably uncomfortable place. And then you take your eagle arms. You gotta get your zen on here. We hold for five, four, Three, now remember these legs as we're taking them to the sky. Three, two, and one. Bring it back in around. Unravel, and find your box. Drop to the elbows. All right, so we're gonna take that same eagle legs to the sky. It's in your practice, otherwise you're just gonna work your core balance. We're doing a lot of heart openings today. So bring this back up. We take the right leg up. Now for some of us, if we're working just our forearm balance, all you do is bend and extend. That's all you do today. You bend the bottom leg and extend. The next level, you can just take a little lift. You might just be working that. The next level, maybe you bring it up and you find your eagle legs. Yeah. So here we go. Back of your head. Press back. And again. 
Inhale, roll through. Exhale, press back. Couple more. Inhale, roll through. Smile. <laughs> okay. You got two more. Here we go. Inhale, roll through. One day, I'll touch the back of my head. Maybe another last time, but I'll do it. Here we go. Inhale, roll through. And back. All the way back to downward facing dog. I got that shit over here. I got you. Bring it back. Left leg is up. Hip circles here. One, two, three. Other direction. One, two, three. Open the door. Thread the needle through and sit this down. Remember the first one, we're just going to circle our arms. One, two, you can always stay with this, especially if you're feeling fatigued. You stay here. Four, you ready? Let's bring it up. One, two, three, or stay with that Andreas on the ground. Four, five, here we go again. Up, two, people, people, four, and five. We've got one more. Up, two, three, Four and five. Unthread the needle, bring it back and around. And then hook your right wrist with your left foot. Drop your hips down. You've already been here on this side. And bring it back up. Open up. Drop the hips down. Oh, that feels so good. And up. Now you don't want to be able to flip just to start with, right? Yes. And hamstrings. And down. That's three. You've got two more. Four, last one. We're gonna hold this last one. A little active rest. Whew. And drop it down. And we hold for five. Remember that you want to parallel your shin to the front of the mat, square your hips, and enjoy it by just letting your exhale take you deeper for five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Ready for some fun? Yes. <laughs> He's always ready. Yeah. Again, I'm going to show you your options. You get to sit back on the ground. This time your left hand can be under. You can just take your shoulders. You can take the feeble expression. You go here. Again, if you can balance in this, put your zen on. You want to hook your feet completely. You have your eagle legs in. And you first sit all the way back. You've got to find your balance first. And then hook this. We hold for five. Four, Ooh. three, wobble, wobble, two, and one. All right, bring it down. Nice and easy. Let's step this back, get ready, back into your box. And then we can take our left leg up and back down. You can stay with that. You can come up into your forearm balance. You go there, or you find your eagle legs. Inhale back up. Hip circles. One. Having fun, guys? Two. I like hip circles. <laughs> you like the hip circles? Four. Five. I'm going to get you on your feet. So press back downward facing dog. Take your right leg, bring it up, open the door. Exhale, take the knee to the nose, plant the foot right up to your hand, and come into our warrior one. I'm going to do Andres' favorite pose here. He loves to do this. Have you ever been to his class? He does it every single class. Which one? Ocean I know. One, two, three is a nice releasing pose. Four, and our last one. Five. All right. Inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, I want you to come forward with me. Forward into balance. We hold for five, four, three. Pay attention to one. Hands down. All right. From here, cross the knee behind. Inhale, extend. Cross the knee behind. Inhale, extend. Now we add arms, all right? Cross the knee behind. Inhale, hands up. 
Cross the knee behind. You want to really challenge yourself, come forward. Cross the knee behind. Inhale, extend. You can always take your angel wings by the side body. And cross. Extend. Let's hold this last one. And cross. Extend and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands come down. All right, now from here, when you cross the knee behind, I want you to take your hands to the heart and then hook this. We hold for five. A little twist. Four, three, kick your left leg out. We hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Circle up and around. This will transition into warrior two. All right. Let's warm up our shoulders a little bit more, as much as we're going to be doing some more back bends. So what I want you to do is take your right hand all the way down, circle around. One, two, three, four. Now back stroke for me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Now take a half line. So you're keeping your left hand around and kiss the inner thigh. Yeah. Whatever you're going to do, you do that. And then open this up. You hold for five. Four, get ready for a balance. Three, two, keep your bind. See if you can balance with me. You can always keep your hand on the ground. Those of you who want to really get fancy, take your hand to your heart. You will have namaste. Bring it down. Circle around. Back up. All right. All the way down again. Hands down. Back leg up. This time when we cross it around behind, we're going to kick it over into hello to our gator. <laughs> cross it behind. Take it over. Yeah. Cross it behind. Take it over. Hello leg. You're <laughs> feeling this, right? Cross. Three. Cross. Four. Cross. Five. Now keep it out here. Bend the bottom leg. Extend. And bend. Tap the toes. I know. <laughs> Extend. And bend. To the side for me. Up to the side. And then up. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down with one more. Four. Some kicking. <laughs> and hold here for five. Hold it. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way back and around. Step it back. A little rest from your wrist. <laughs> one. Woohoo! Two. I can feel that one leg. We get a balance out the other hand. Three. Whew. You guys having fun out there? We love you. We only have two legs. <laughs> <laughs> one more left. Here we go. Okay. Press back. Down go. Left leg is up. Woo -hoo. Left leg is up. Step it forward. Inhale brings you up from your one. Your favorite pose, oh, Andreas. We'll follow Andreas' lead on this one. Come on, guide us. Guide us. Uh, guide us. No, I just keep going. One. You're teaching. You're in charge. Uh -huh. Two. <laughs> Three. He doesn't want to talk and do it. I know. Four. And five, drop the hands down. <laughs> What's all that moving? Cross the knee behind. Inhale, extend. One. Cross the knee behind. Inhale, extend. Two. Cross the knee behind. Three. Cross. Four. Cross. Five. You ready for some balance? Here we go. Hands to the heart. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. You can always take this forward. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, two. Exhale, bend. Inhale, three. Exhale, bend. Inhale, four. Exhale, bend. One more. Inhale, five. Four, five. Five. Four. Three. Two and one, hands down. Cross the knee behind and then take it to the side. I love it. Cross the knee behind and again to the side. Cross the knee behind 
and then to the side. Pass the knee. To the side. Pass the knee. Side three. Side three. One more. We hold this one. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Cross the knee behind. Hands here. Kick your right leg out. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Woo! Feel that one. And all the way up. Let's take this down. Circle around. One, two, three, four, five. Back stroke. One, two, three, four, and five. All the way up. And then I'm going to take this all the way back down. Right leg up into the sky. This time what I want you to do is take a little bend of the top leg and then pull the knee in. Maybe we bend and we lift. And bring it back in. Two. And then. Three. Back in. Four. Back in. One more. Five. And try to bring it out. Up dog. Hip circles. Yay. Yay, hip circles. One, two, three. This time I want you to drop all the way down, hips to the ground, run into high cobra. Hips to the ground. Shoulders back and away. Open up. Hold for five. Four. Three. Two and one, two in your elbows. <sighs> My favorite, not favorite pose. <laughs> I always do the ones I think I uh, when I'm dreading. Catch back with your back foot. You hold it here. Now for some of us, this is enough. Next level, we take our fingers around and bring the foot towards the ground, hip square. Hold for five. Four. Three. Say hello to hip flexors. Two and one. Release. Guess what? The other side. Two sides. <laughs> here we go. Catch the other side again. You're always welcome just to stay here. Next level, fingers come around the front of the toes, and we drop this down. And we hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Release out of it. Press back up into high cobra. Tap the back of your head, and push back. Hip circles. Woohoo! Here the other side. One, two, three, four, other direction. One, two, three, and four. Curl up your toes, hollow out your belly, and press this back down, go. Woo! Left leg up into the sky. Exhale, and bring it forward. We're on the left side now. Bring it up. And then pull it in. We're going to go this side right now. And up. Change sides. <laughs> Left leg is up. Come in. And up. You can always stay with this or we bring this up into the sky. It's your practice. Knee up. Maybe just a little baby lift. Yeah? Up. Two. Three. Four, one more. Chaturanga. Woohoo. Up dog. Down dog. Hip circles. Turn your palms around. Release your wrists. Four, three, two, one. Now keep your toes as they are. Sit back on your heels. Take your hands back. From this position, press your hips up and off your heels. Hold for five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it forward, drop to the forearms. Yeah? From here, you have a couple of options, all right? Your first option, you just take your right leg and bring it up. Yeah? Next option, from your downward facing dog, your right leg up. Next option, maybe bring it up and take that same little thing here. We hold for five on the forearms. Four, three, Two, and one, bring it back down. This time when you sit back, I want your feet flat, so you're on the top of your feet, turn your palms back, press your hips up. 
Up again. Shoulders open. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it forward again. Drop to the forearms. I'll show you your options again, right? Your left leg can just simply come up. Tap down. You can have it straight or you can have it bent. Next level. From this position, same thing. Up. You can bend it or extend it. Otherwise, you bring it up. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back up. Curl up your toes again. Curl up the toes. Fingers to the front. Heart open. Hips off of your heels. Same hello to the toes. Hold for five. Four, three, two, and one. Do you want to have a little fun? So we're having fun. <laughs> so this time we're gonna do something kind of funky, funky monkey. You ready for funky monkey? Yes. Drop this down, keep this up. You know where we're going. Mm -hmm. Bring this back. Now for some of us, we're just gonna stay here. Others maybe drop your head to the ground. Maybe keep it up and lift up. We hold for five. Four, three, two, back down. How do we do? <laughs> All right, feet are flat, fingers back, chest is up, tuck the pelvis under, lift up, hold for five, four, three, two, one, guess what? Funky monkey. Funky monkey. Other side, here we go. Again, you can always drop your head to the ground or you fall under it to keep your head up. It's your practice. So you start here. And just bring a knee. You might stay here. You might just drop your head down for somebody. And then bring this up. You hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down. Those are fun, right? No hard at all. <laughs> oh, curl up the toes. Bring this back. And our fingers are forward this one. We press up. One. Two, three, four, and five. Bring it all the way forward into box. Curl up your toes, hollow out your belly, and let's press this back. circles. One, two, three, other direction. One, two, three, flip it around. Press back, you're still on the right side. Right leg comes up, open the door. Exhale, step it through, warrior one. Find your warrior one. Inhale brings you up. Open up, hold for five, four, three, Two, one, plant your hands down. Nice and easy, left leg is up. Now we're gonna take those um, bent in the sky, or maybe eagle in the sky, all right? Eagle or high Eagle, yeah. yeah. So here we go, up. Hold it. 
the hermit. Or pulse in. One. Two. Three. Four. Chaturanga up. And five. All the way up. Up dog. Down dog. Drop to your forearms. Right elbow up. Press back. Find your little variation. It might just be here, it might just be here. You might see it. And hold for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back down. Ah. How'd you do? You got one more again? One more side, guys, and then we're going to take it into a cool down. That wasn't hard. We still have one more side. <laughs> yes, we do. Ah. Have I told you I love you today? I love you very much. Again, you can take any variation you want. Let's bring it up. Maybe you take your eagle on the sky. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> or or. You see, nothing happens. And chaturanga up, up dog, back to your forearms, or on the other side. Is it this side? Yeah. No. This side. Yeah. All right. You know where to go. Find it. Take your hands back, and all I want you to do is press your hips up. 
Let's hold for five. See if you can scoop your pinky foot up towards the navel. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Now take your right hand and catch your right ankle. Right hand, right ankle. And then bring it down and press up. You can stay with that or take your left hand and reach around and catch it. See if you can get your foot flat and open up the upper thoracic. Hold for five, four, three, two, back down. All right, both hands back. Here we go again. Let's hold this one for five, bring it up. Hold for five, should be nice and warm for these back bends. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Left hand catches left ankle. Pull it in, press it down. Up, stay with this, or reach around and catch it with both hands. Tail to the ground, shoulders move away from each other. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Hands come back. So this time, catch both ankles. One hand on either ankle, pull it in close. Get your heels to touch your bum if you can. Press your low back to the earth and scoop it up. Hold for five, four, three, two, and back down. All right, make sure you have some space on your back. Let's scoop down. Take your hands up and then bring them down. Now listen, all I want you to do is come up to, to your shoulders, put some weight in your hands. Feel the weight pushing into the earth. Scoop the hips up, we hope for five. Four, three, two, and one. Now if you have a problem getting all the way up, you might stay with that one. The next level though is pretty easy. We're just gonna to come to the crown of the head only, crown of the head. Still pushing weight into the hands, and we scoop this up, crown of the head. We hope for five. Hello, four, three, two, back down. All right, now you can stay with any of those first variations you want. We're gonna to come to the forearms on this one, all right? Forearms, see if you can keep your forearms separated. I know a lot of people bring their hands together, and that's okay for the beginning. But if, you can, if you're a little more open to the shoulders, you can keep them separated. Either way, let's bring it up. And hold for five. Woohoo, my shoulders are tight. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, I felt good though. You ready for full back one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, same preparation. This time take any variation again that you want. Remember, this is your practice. Make sure your low back is snug to the earth here, so you're scooping up towards the navel. Remember, the back side of the body contracts, the front side of the body extends. So take your time, set this up, no hurry, then bring it up and hold for five. Four, three, four, two, and one. Good. All the way down. Pull the knees in and rock the body. Oh, that feels good. Four, three, four, two, and one. Now let your roll to your right side into fetus. Roll into fetus. Stay here just for a couple of breaths. We're cooling down. Four, three, two, one, now take your right arm and slide it behind you. A nice little shoulder opener. For some of us, this is enough. You want to drop your head down and then open up your knees to get a deeper stretch. And some of you might even reach around and catch that arm. And then I want you to roll on top of it. So you kind of roll and you lay it flat on your own arm. It looks like this. Ooh, all the way over. On top of your own arm, it feels delicious. Ah, it's a nice little stretch right here through the shoulder bone. We hold for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, and back to center. Mm -hmm. Two sides to the body. Let's go to the other side. Keep my shirt on. <laughs> and we hold for five. It wasn't me. <laughs> four, three, two. And when we start that same process again, where we come up, take the hand over, say hello to your neighbor, and then we're going to hold it here, or we kick it up, maybe take your mind, and then again, we're going to extend out and roll on top of it again. Oh, feels so good. Ah, feels so 
amazing. It hurts really well. Whew. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ha! Ah. Love that stretch, but it is challenge. Okay. Bring it up. <laughs> elbow, elbow here. So we're doing a deep shoulder stretches and releases. Because if you don't, when you do strong handstand practice forms, practice like that, your shoulders will get super tight, am I right? Yes. That's when you get injured. You have to stretch it out. So this one we call whale's tail for obviously it releases your whale's tail. Palms are up. Curl up your toes and you're gonna go forward and jump your head down. It's a nice stretch for the shoulders. And then bring it back. Whatever arm you have in front, I have my left arm, you change it, yeah? And you bring your opposite arm in front. All right, you ready? Yes. Here we go. Mm -hmm. several different platforms because we love you very much and want you to keep practicing. It's important that you keep the energy flowing through your body. Um, keep your practice strong. We are here for you. Um, we love you very much. We know this is a challenging time. Remember, take good care of yourself so that you can take care of others. What's going on? <laughs> oh, you haven't read the news? <laughs> In our world, it's all love, all light. I hope it is for you too. So let's find a way into our Shavasana. So this rollover of this, I'm going to chant to you, see how nice it is. And those of you at home, if you have something to cover your eyes with, please do. Uh, like a towel or a shirt. And then just keep really comfortable. I'm going to chant the Sahana Baba too today because I haven't chanted this one in a while. And this is a, a chant that salutes the teacher, the student, and the ancient art of yoga, the ancient study of yoga. So it's a really beautiful chant. So remember, on Friday night, I will be posting the sound bath this Friday night. I'll be posting details, but it'll probably be around 8 o'clock the way that I usually do, an 8 o'clock sound bath, which I'll be chanting, and I'll have some crystal bowls and such. It's, it's lovely. All right, so close your eyes. Settle in. Reconnect with the body and the breath. A couple of deep inhales and exhales. Imagine that you have no bones and that you're just melting into the earth. And all is well. You just rest for a moment. Truly rest. Completely and absolutely rest. Just let everything go. In this moment, there's nothing to fix and there's nothing broken. In this moment, you just get to receive. Sahabiyah, Allah. 
have been staying here as long as you choose to. May you be happy. May you be well.